GRE quantitative comparison practice question. This is on the topic number properties. This is a hard question. The two columns in which information is given. But before that, there is some data that is common to both the columns. Let's read that. N is the smallest positive integer that has got seven factors. Quantity in column A is number of factors of square root of N. Quantity in column B is number of factors of N minus 2. So step 1, we need to know what N is. We have to deduce that. And look at it, in deducing n and evaluating the values of quantities in column A and column B, we need to have a good handle on how to compute the number of factors of numbers. So let's invest a little bit of time in that and then proceed to finding out step 1, n and then the values in column, columns A and column B. Start with this. Given data is number of factors of n is equal to 7. Keep this number 7, 7 is a prime number. This is one data, you'll have to keep it in mind. Let's get started. Let's say we can prime factorize n as a power p into b power q. And a and b are the only prime factors of n. What if n had more than these two prime factors? No sweat. Just keep adding all of them. If n, let's say, had four prime factors, a, b, c, d, then n can be expressed as a power p into b power q into c power r into d power s, right? However many prime factors it may contain, just do it in the same order. For a moment, let's assume that it's got only two prime factors and get going with this. Then the number of factors, number of factors of n can be found out by the product of the powers of each of these prime numbers incremented by a 1. Essentially, we are saying that number of factors of n will be equal to p plus 1 times q plus 1. I'll take a simple example to illustrate this and then let's proceed further. Let's pick a number, let's say x is a number for which we are trying to compute the number of factors. Let's say x is equal to a 45. Prime factor is 45. 45 is a 9 times 5. 9 is not prime, so it's going to become 3 square times 5. So prime factor is 45 as follows. So this is a power p into b power q. What is p? p is equal to 2. What is q? q is equal to 1. So let's increment both these numbers. p plus 1 is a 2 plus 1. q plus 1 is a 1 plus 1. So number of factors of this number, number of factors of 45, will be equal to 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, which is a 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Quickly validate it by actually listing down factors of 45. 1 is a factor of 45, 45 will be a factor of 45. 3 is a factor of 45, 15 will be a factor of 45. 9 is a factor of 45, 5 is a factor of 45. So these are the 6 factors for 45. That's what we got as an answer. Now, what do we know about n? n has got 7 factors. Number of factors of n is equal to 7. So that is equal to p plus 1 times q plus 1. 7 is a prime number. That's the aspect I wanted you to keep in mind. If it's a prime number, it's got exactly 2 factors. And it can be expressed as a product of 2 numbers in only one way. 7 can be expressed as a product of 2 numbers as 1 times 7. So we can quickly infer that p plus 1 is equal to 1, which means that p is equal to 0 q plus 1 is equal to 7, therefore q is equal to 6. Plug in the value of p and q in this equation. So we'll get n is such a number which is of the form a prime number raised to a power of 0 times another prime number raised to a power of 6. Anything power 0 is a 1. So this is equal to b power 6. So n is such a number which is of the form which is a prime number raised to the power of 6. We're trying to find out n. n is a number which is the smallest number that can have 7 factors which means we are trying to find out that n, which is the smallest n possible. If b is minimized, then n will be minimized because n is equal to b power 6. What's the smallest prime number that we know? 2 is the smallest prime number. So least value that n can take out, the value of n, n being the smallest number that can have 7 factors, is equal to 2 power 6, which is equal to 64. Let's quickly recap it in a printed form in the next slide so that we have a handle on how we found out the value of n. Right? So this is the data given to us. If a number n can be prime factorized as a power p times b power q, where a and b are its only prime factors, then the number of factors of the number is p plus 1 times q plus 1. 7 is the number of factors for n. 7 can be expressed as p plus 1 times q plus 1 in only one way, which is 1 times 7, which translates to the fact that p plus 1 equals 1, q plus 1 equals 7, or p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 6. Plug that in here, so a power 0 into b power 6 is the format of this number. If n is the smallest positive integer that's got 7 factors, that's possible only when b is minimized. b is a prime number. The smallest prime number is 2. So the value of n is equal to 2 power 6, which is equal to 64. Now that we have found out the value of n, it takes not much time to evaluate the two columns. Column A, number of factors of root n. n is equal to 64. Root n is equal to 8. We know how to find the number of factors. Step 1, prime factorize 8. 8 is prime factorized as 2 cube. 
number of factors of 8 number of factors of 8 is equal to increment this by 1 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 so the value of the quantity in column A is equal to 4 let's keep this in mind because we had to compare column A with column B summarize it in the printed form root n is equal to 8 number of factors of a number that can be prime factorized will be p plus 1 times q plus 1 prime factorizing 8 will leave us with 2 cubed so number of factors is equal to 4 let's move on to column B number of factors of n minus 2 you know n is equal to 64 so n minus 2 is a 62 Again, let's find out the number of factors by prime factorizing 62. 62 prime factorizes as 2 power 1 times 31 power 1. 2 into 31 is 62. So, number of factors of this number, number of factors of 62 will be incrementing both these powers by 1. 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1, which is 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So, the, after evaluating column B, we found its value to be equal to 4. Do you recall the value, value for column A? That was also equal to 4. Quickly summarize till this point in a printed form. Number of factors of a prime number, if a number can be prime factorized as A power P times B power Q, where A and B are its prime factors, will be P plus 1 times Q plus 1. So here we have 62 prime factorized as 2 power 1 times 31 power 1. Incrementing the powers by 1 and multiplying them, we get the number of factors to be 4. So value of quantity B is equal to 4. Column A, the value is 4. Column B, the value is 4. Both these columns are equal. Choice C is the answer to this question. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.